for you. Well, today is uh, going to be a very long day. We are going to have a, a joint meeting with the defense ministers in order to approve, I hope, the strategic compass, which is, is not the answer to the Ukrainian war, but is part of the answer. We have been working on that for two years, and when we started working, we couldn't imagine that uh, at the last moment of approval, the situation would be so bad, and the Euro were going to face uh, such a big challenge. That's the moment to rethink about the future of uh, European capacity to face challenges like war. That's why the European Union member states will have to increase their military capacities, do it in a coordinated manner, as uh, responsible for the common security and defense policy. We will be working in order to make us stronger military and use our capacities in a more coordinated way. We are going to continue to providing support to Ukraine, a second tranche of the European Peace Facility, providing more financial support. We are going to have a meeting with the Foreign Affairs Minister of Moldavia. Moldavia is providing a incredible support to the Ukrainian refugees. And then we will have a video conference with the Defense Minister of Ukraine. We'll talk about the war situation. Russia is really doing a lot of war crimes. That's the word, you have to say that. What's happening in Mariupol is a massive war crime, destroying everything, bombarding and killing everybody in an indiscriminate manner. This is something awful. We have to condemn in the stronger terms. This is a war crime, a massive war crime, what's happening in Mariupol. The city will be completely destroyed and people will be are dying. We will continue working and supporting Ukraine with all our resources. We'll continue talking about what kind of sanctions we can think again more, especially related with energy. And we will see from the Defense Minister of Ukraine which is the situation there, how we can continue supporting them. The ministers will discuss uh, about that. And the oil sanctions? The ministers will discuss about that. Russia is now using hypersonic weapons, which makes the defense extremely difficult. Yes, they are. What does it change now for the situation? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Well, this is uh, Russia is using all the military capacities. The problem is that using military capacities against the civilians. It's not a war. It's a massive destruction of a country without any kind of consideration for the law of war, because the war has also law. And it's very important to say that uh, legally, the international courts have already condemned this invasion. Morally, they have lost any kind of ground, because what they are doing is completely out of any kind of law that rules the war. It's not a war, it's a destruction of uh, people who are suffering incredibly, and Russia, Putin, deserves the stronger condemnation of the civilized world. Thank you.